driving to work, have to get through the day, and then it's out on the road to RVing. Oh yeah. Can you tell I'm excited? I hope you are, because we're gonna do this together. Let's do this. Hey everybody, David, AKA RV Jedi. Okay, so work is uh, done. Even though I worked a half day since I get in around 5 a.m., it's now uh, <laughs> almost three o'clock. Um, I'm not so sure it's quite a half day, but it is a day. Uh, I am now heading over uh, to pick up a couple of things for my rig at the grocery store. Then I have to take my rig and get uh, some propane put into it before I finally hit the road uh, heading off to my new state park. I think I have everything. Time to check out and uh, go get some propane. So done shopping at Walmart. Now uh, time to get to the rig, load that up, um, go get some propane. You know, it always feels weird uh, as I leave uh, midday to try and get into my rig and, and, and start camping. It just always feels like it takes forever to get out on the road. So let's get out of here. You know, the whole process of being a weekend warrior uh, means you have to do things like this. Pick up your rig at the end of the day, load it up because uh, I take everything in my car, load up the RV, and then have to miraculously transform uh, into who I want to be for the next couple of days. Time to go from work mode to RV Jedi mode. Oh, buddy, yeah, it's go time. So the car's locked up. Now it's time to go get some propane and then get on the road. So the only place I could find propane for the RV was at a U-Haul place downtown, which is about 10, 15 minutes away. So I have to turn my rig around uh, so that I can get my RV filled up with propane. Yes, we're almost there. So to fill up my RV with propane, uh, it cost $3.99 a gallon. Uh, I needed almost eight gallons worth of propane. So the total came out to about $29.93, uh, almost 30 bucks to fill it up. And I really had to do this because my propane tank was down to almost zero. RV is loaded up with propane. It's now time to hit the road and get to the destination. After what seems like forever, I finally hit the road heading north, north of Green Bay, about an hour and 15, 20 minutes from uh, where I picked up my propane to here, dun, 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 dun. Potawatomi State Park. As the new custom is here in Wisconsin, uh, I stopped off and picked up some water, filling up my tank, um, but I had a little problem. Okay, so I'm hoping there's not any drama here but earlier in the day when I checked my levels the levels went on I could see everything uh, when I got here to fill up my water uh, and check the levels again uh, nothing came on so uh, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot that one as well from where I filled up with water it was another five to ten minutes down some very narrow roads to get to my actual campsite so I, uh, 
I'm not entirely sure what I did. I moved some stuff around and, and somehow got the house lights to come back on. Um, everything seems to be checking out now. But it's, it's almost as if somebody doesn't want me to camp in Wisconsin. <laughs> Time now to clean out my refrigerator. It was still dirty from uh, when they fixed it. Um, just, you know, wiped it down, try to get it as clean as possible. And because it was late in the day, um, I decided to do just a quick little walk around the campground, um, try to find out what everything was all about. I love this sign, uh, six feet apart with a cow. And then I found this. So my site is all set up. Uh, it's kind of late, so I didn't get a chance to really do a full exploration of the park. But uh, so far from what I can see, great water view here. Um, it's just about a five minute walk uh, up to the uh, camping location. The, the camping area is packed, uh, and this is a Tuesday for me. Um, but still, I think it's gonna be a nice getaway. Looking forward to really exploring tomorrow. We'll see how it all turns out. So I am staying at Pottawatomie State Park in uh, Northeast Wisconsin. Uh, it is just about uh, 40, 50 minutes outside of Green Bay. It has uh, a little bit of everything for you. It's got hiking, it's got some boating, uh, and it's obviously got some camping. Speaking of the camping, well, the sites are really tight. Uh, it is hard getting into the park, no question about it. But once you get in, it's absolutely fantastic, really pretty. So Pottawatomie State Park uh, is nestled in Door County, uh, right off on the peninsula. Uh, it's 1,200 acres, so this is a really big park uh, to uh, check out when you get here. Um, Pottawatomie uh, is a Native American for Keeper of the Fire. So a lot of places in this area have Native American names, so that's kind of interesting. You know, when you come here, there's a little bit of everything for everybody. You can boat, you can camp, you can hike. Uh, it's all very beautiful. In terms of the campground itself, uh, which is about uh, 50 minutes from where I am right now, um, the sites are a little tight getting in there. There is both a tent camping um, and RV camping. Uh, there seems to be one bathhouse, which is pretty big, and a lot of folks can go in there. You can shower, things like this. The campgrounds right now, and this is late July, are pretty packed, and I'm camping in the middle of the week. One of my uh, secrets, I like to camp during the middle of the week, so it's a little surprising uh, at how many people are out. But again, because of the pandemic, uh, this is one of the things you can do in social distance pretty easily. Uh, I carry my mask with me. Here you go. But for the most part, I'm all by myself and uh, you know, with the exception of uh, seeing some folks in cars uh, or things like that or here at a lookout where we're clearly social distance, um, I haven't really had to use the mask. Cell service for me is pretty good out here. Um, it dips in and out, but for the most part, I get pretty decent cell service. Uh, and I'm in site 12, again, very tight. It took me a little bit to get in. It's not very uh, level, so it's a good thing I have leveling jacks to help me do that. So Pottawatomie State Park in Northeast Wisconsin. If you get a chance to check it out, I think you'll really enjoy it. Getting my first hike on here at the park and uh, this particular hike, the nature trail, um, seems to be fairly easy, uh, well designated. It's a nice little, nice little jaunt or hike, if you will. I think during the winter or colder months, uh, this may even be a snowshoe kind of a trail because um, that's what some of the, the markings look like. But uh, all in all, not a bad, uh, 
not a bad impression on this uh, hike right now. So the nature trail was a good hike. Uh, when I got out of the nature trail, I decided to follow this sign. Not sure where it's gonna take me, but hey, let's check it out anyway, right? I've been hiking so long to get to this. It looks like I'm finally here. Let's go check this out. So it took just uh, under an hour, almost about 50, 55 minutes to hike up here from the uh, camping site uh, where I'm at. And there were a couple of times in the middle of it, I was like, no, no, I'm turning around, but I'm glad I got here. Look at this view. One of the best parts about going out and hiking, seeing things like this. So this is absolutely fantastic. This is why you hike up here. Now, if you look down the hill, you can see this little path here, and it goes all the way down there. If you're really adventurous and uh, in good shape, uh, that might be a good hike. But for me, I'm just gonna look at it from here. It's absolutely gorgeous. However, <laughs> the downfall is, uh, when it's all said and done, I gotta hike back down <laughs> to my site. Uh, hopefully, it won't take me as long now that I know where I'm going. Uh, but it's going to be another uh, 45, 50 minute hike back down. So there are a lot of things I need to get done with my RV uh, this summer. Usually uh, at the beginning of the year, that's when I uh, do all my little projects or at least lay out what I'm going to do uh, for the summer and then try to get to as many of them during the summer as I can. Uh, because I had to go down to Florida, pick up my RV, bring it back. COVID-19 hit uh, in the middle of all of this. Uh, it's been a while since I've been able to get back and even talk about uh, what I have to do for the rig. So uh, this summer, these are some of the projects I'm gonna try to get to, uh, to fix up my RV and keep it going and, and continue to maintain it. The first, obviously, is the uh, right side mirror. Uh, it is still taped up as of right now. This, of course, happened uh, when the RV was hit during storage. Um, I've looked at the side mirror, and I think I can fix that one myself, take the whole thing off and replace it. The other big thing will be sourcing that mirror, trying to find it right now because uh, RV parts are hard to come by. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to have to try and put that one in uh, by myself. I think I can do it, uh, but we'll have to uh, keep looking and see if we can find that uh, part and do that. So that's one of the main things I have to do. The other thing is something that I've been trying to do for the last couple of years, uh, and I just honestly have not gotten to it. I have the parts, but just haven't done it, uh, and that is uh, putting up some lights in the RV. There are two lights, uh, bedside lights, that I want to uh, hook up, and, and then there's one over the um, dinette set uh, that I want to hook up as well. Uh, I have all of the lights. I just haven't had a chance to do it. And let's be honest, I, I probably could have done it but I just haven't done it and uh, that's one of the things I'm going to try to do uh, this summer. The other thing too is on the uh, side of the RV um, there's a little um, I think it's a little intake air intake area um, and I have uh, bug screens for that. Um, I just got to get those off and put those in. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, and then I also want to uh, lube all of my slides and the windows. Um, in the past, I've paid to have this done as part of the, the yearly maintenance, but uh, I went online, found out actually how easy it is. Uh, and so I'm going to attempt that uh, as well. 
And then I guess finally, just the big thing is I, I just have to clean out my RV. Uh, I've noticed over the years, I have several things that quite frankly, I don't even use anymore. So I wanna make sure that I get those out, donate them or th throw those away, the things I don't really use uh, and just give that whole RV a really deep clean. That is a big thing for me, especially since I don't come in and out of it as much as I had hoped. Um, but I want to make sure that it is nice and clean inside and out. Uh, so I have to go through everything uh, and decide what I want to keep, what I want to donate, and what I want to toss. So that's uh, another big thing uh, on the list. I'm sure there are two or three other items that are going to come up. And when they do, I'll share them with you. Uh, and hopefully as I get through all of these, we'll do these uh, upgrades together. So that's going to do it right now. Uh, I think you'll enjoy this state park if you get a chance to come here. It's a Potawatomi State Park in uh, Door County, uh, just north of Green Bay. Um, and if you do, take some pics, share them, let me know what you think. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. You can follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then, of course, uh, you can follow my website and the blog at RVJedi.com. Get out there, RV. Have a great time. Anytime you're out in places like this, you'll really enjoy it and understand why RVing is such a fun thing. We'll see you next time.